time. My name's Kathy, and I'm here, and I'm going to show you a little bit about mixed media. Kind of take some of the, I don't know, the myst mystery out of layering some things. So we're going to start with a gel medium, which you get over in your fine art department. And there's different bodies. There's a soft gel medium and a hard gel medium. And just pick one and go. They all do the same thing, uh, pretty much. I use it as a glue, plus I use it to build up texture. So we're just going to take a little gel medium. This one we've already put on with gel medium right here. I'm just going to coat the back really good. And then I'm just going to place my paper. What we're going to do today is make a background for a painting. And I'm just going to show you the background today. And it can be just random. It doesn't have to be thought out or big, big plans. Just kind of start doing it and go with it. We're going to stick to just a couple of colors, like burnt umber, or maybe some gold. Alright, we've got that on there and it's going to dry. And it'll dry clear and then your paper will be in place. Also going to take a little... This is actually um, called Punchinella. It's a sequin poop, I think is what it's called. And then this is a piece of scrapbook paper that we have right here. And I'm going to use it as a stencil. Let's take a little burnt umber. This is transparent burnt umber, so it gives you a nice little transparent layer. We're just going to randomly stencil on some stuff here. Don't worry about it being perfect. The less perfect I think, the better. And then you can peel it up there and see how it's going. You can go ahead and even add a little bit onto this wet section right here. And we'll add a little bit right here too. This is called a spouncer right here. Just sponge on a little stick. It makes a great little stencil tool. Now, if you have too much paint and you want to let go of a little bit, you can take a paper towel and just lay over it. You'll also get this really nice pattern from the paper towel. Okay, and we'll take a little bit of this. You're just going to kind of fill your canvas. And then after we let this dry, the next time we film, then I'm going to paint a painting. I'm going to show you how to paint a painting on top. This would be the same way that you would start your collage. If you're not going to put a painting, you're just going to have mixed media. So you you put your paper on with gel medium. Your gel medium will also hold metal elements if it's a heavier body gel medium. And then I just keep going until I fill it in. I'm not going to worry too much about the middle of the canvas because that's where I'm going to put a painting. part I like is when you just make it hard for the, the viewer to tell where the paper starts and the canvas stops, just how it all blends together. I think I'll take a little paper towel again. And you can even take it and just rub it. Okay, I also beforehand put a little bit of crackle right here for it to dry. So we're going to see if we can uh, use this alcohol ink and get it to spread through the cracks. So I don't know. 
Can you see how it's spreading? And just kind of randomly put you some drips. There's where it's going really nice, spreading through the cracks. And then I really like just drips. So I'm going to hold that up and let it kind of run. And then I may take it and do it on this side too. Now alcohol ink will dry really quickly and it gives it a really deep rich color that goes along with the paint. And then I might take a little bit of gold and then I think we're going to be done. So let's take, this is a dirty spouncer but it's okay to have a dirty brush. We'll just add a little gold in here. So I'm take it and tap it off. And there's no right or wrong to, way to do this. Just kind of make it up as you go and um, enjoy the process of it. Once you learn to enjoy the process without worrying too much about your income outcome, not income, you'll have you'll have more fun with it. And I move my canvas around. Even when I have working on an easel, I'll move it up and down. Let's put a little more right here. So it's just a simple background. It can be the next part, the next part you can add to a collage, a thought out collage, or you can add your painting on top. But it's just an easy way to make a little background without being stressed. Thanks Kathy, and we look forward to seeing you painting on it next time. Good deal, thanks.